turns out that if you train a planarian and then cut their heads off, the tail will regenerate a brand new brain that still remembers the original information. I think planaria hold uh, the answer to pretty much every deep question of life. For one thing, they're similar to our ancestors. So they have true symmetry. They have a true brain. They're not like earthworms. They're, you know, they're much more advanced life form. They have lots of different internal organs, but they're these little, um, they're about, you know, maybe two centimeters in, in the centimeter to two in size. They have a, a head and a tail. And the first thing is planaria are immortal. So they do not age. There's no such thing as an old planarian. So that right there tells you that these theories of thermodynamic um, limitations of, on lifespan are wrong. It's not, it's not that well over time of, of everything degrades. No, planaria can keep it going for uh, probably, you know, how long have they been around 400 million years, right? So these are the actually, so the planaria in our lab are actually in physical continuity with planaria that were here 400 million years ago. Uh, I think one of the most fundamentally interesting things about it is that it shows that each of us takes the journey from so-called just physics to mind, right? Because we all start life as a single uh, quiescent unfertilized oocyte, and it's basically a bag of chemicals. And you look at that and you say, okay, this is chemistry and physics. And then nine months and some years later, you have an organism with high level cognition and preferences and um, an inner life and so on. And what embryogenesis tells us is that that transformation from physics to mind is gradual. It's smooth.